Hello everyone. Today I was uh, asked if I knew how to take apart one of these uh, Sansa clips. And uh, this is the 2 gigger, but it's the same as the 4 and the 8 or 8 gig. Uh, and yes, I do know how to take it apart. Okay. Now, you can use the basic case opening tools from a cell phone kit like this, like these. Uh, you know, you have a modified guitar pick, I would say. But really, the best tool that I found to use to open it up is just a, a guitar pick. This is a a pretty stiff guitar pick, almost like a bass pick, and uh, we just—I'll uh, show you how to open this up using just this uh, pick. Okay, I found the best place to start in opening the case is to start on the corner. But prior to doing that, you need to take out any memory card you have in there. So take the memory card out, like I just did, right there. So make sure it doesn't have it in there because when you take it apart, if that's in there, you could break it. So take out the memory card. Uh, everything else is pretty well standard there. So we're going to start on the corner near the earphone jack, okay? And basically you just pry it open using the pick. And, you know, it takes a little bit of practice to get this to work right. And, uh, you know, and whichever way it works best for you, go for it. But I find the corners are the best prying point to open this up with. So as you can see, I don't know if you can see it, but... It does slip underneath quite easily. Now I'm just going to work it around to turn if I can here. That seemed to be a little bit more difficult than I thought it would be, but here we go. See, there we go. So, like I said, it takes a bit of practice. And don't use anything but a plastic implement for this because, seriously, if you use metal, you'll just mess this right up. So I'm going to go the other way here. Trying to get it. There we go. Yeah. It is not easy, but as you can see, I'm starting to make progress there. You can see that it's open, and I'm going to keep going around. And it's tough because you, it's it's. You know, you're almost snapping it back together again all the time. So. Patience required. Actually, use a second guitar pick on this. Okay, so working it. Even with a plastic pick, you're still going to mar it a bit, I think. I seem to be getting it apart pretty well. You can see that I'm starting to get that case to pry open. Um, I have a second guitar pick around here somewhere and I'm going to use it to continue on. Maybe that'll make my life a little easier. say they do put it together pretty well there we go that's feeling like it's going to come apart now managed to turn it on in the process Clips all the way around it. You gotta try and be careful not to break them. There we go. Mm. 
There we go. You know, the trick is to try and be careful not to break anything on the inside using the pick. So try not to go too deep. And there we go. And it looks like the top and the bottom are glued together with a piece of tape right there. As you can see, there's a little piece of tape. And I think that's a heat sink too, and it goes onto the battery. So the battery's on the bottom half of the, the uh, player, okay? And the circuitry is on the top, all right? As you can see. And now you have access to all of it. I'll show you where the clips are. There's a clip here, clip here, a clip here, here, uh, near the bottom here. There's two at the bottom and uh, two at the very top okay so there it is taken apart for whatever reason you need to take it apart uh, the other thing too if you want to take the circuit board out there is one two three Phillips screw to, screws uh, so just take those three screws out and that circuit board will release from the top half I don't know why you'd have to do it but maybe you have a reason uh, personally I'm just leaving it like that, but I'm going to show you that you just need a, a, a jeweler's uh, Phillips on three corners, and it will come apart from there. Um, well, let's go for it. Let's take it apart for full disassembly here. Okay, so there's one. Two. I don't know if you can get another battery for it, but uh, this battery is actually soldered onto the board right here. If you can see here, it's soldered right on. So uh, replacing it will require some finesse as far as being able to solder it. Okay, so there's the three screws. Uh, now we just lift this board off. And it's not that. Oh, sorry, there's not three, there's four. There's another one here. Right there. Remember, you're working on a live circuit because the battery is, is plugged into it. So try not to short anything and be real careful with your screwdriver and your screws. I think that'll be it. And no, it's making a liar out of me. Uh, oh, yes, it's clipped in right here, too. One clip. Any more clips I can't see? Not sure. Yeah, there's more clips. Be careful not to break it. Did I miss a screw? I don't think so. Okay. All right, so there's a piece of tape holding the, the uh, board to the uh, actual display. And there's a reason here you got to be careful because there's a ribbon cable, as you can see right there between the board and the actual display itself okay so when you're taking it apart there'll be a little piece of tape on this corner and it's really strong let's see if i can show it to you there we go right there okay so 
Um, unless you have to, I wouldn't take it apart that far. Uh, but there's the entire thing disassembled. If you wanted to take the, the display off, I don't know why you'd want to do that. Uh, I would not recommend it. And even going this far, I would not recommend, okay? But here we are, this whole unit uh, disassembled. Uh, now we're going to put it back together again. And uh, it's just the exact reverse process. You know, push the, the board down, put the screws in, and uh, snap it all back together again. Okay, so we'll do that. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, just prior to taking it, uh, putting it back together again and putting the screws back in and all that, I'll show you the various switches there are on it. Um, as you can see, right here is the volume up and down switch. Uh, here is your power switch right here, USB connector, earphone, and uh, the other switches are on the other side, but you don't really need to see them. Uh, micro SD card slot right here, and uh, processing unit I believe is right there anyways. But, let's put it back together again. So one screw in that corner. Again, remember you're working on a live circuit. Careful not to short anything or break anything. Second screw. And remember, you're screwing into plastic, so don't go too tight with these. Just snug is good. Third screw, so one, two, three. four and uh, now prior to, to uh, putting it back together again uh, just push the push the power button on at the very top right here make sure it still works and it does so we're good there okay I'll push it again just to turn it off and make sure your cables aren't going to be snapped into the case when you put it back together again and they're not here. So I'll just put it back together again. It just clips back, back together. And it's way easier to put together than it is to take apart. You hear it snapping together. All right, and we'll shut it down again. Put the card back into it, and then test it out. Okay, we'll just hit play here. Um, oops, no, play all and uh, appears to be playing. Let me get, let's go to another song here. And crank it up. So the volume works, the power works. And the earphones work. So, we're all set. The, the uh, Sansa clip, that's the uh, video for taking apart the Sansa clip. Uh, make sure you test everything and it's working. I did put the memory card back in. And, uh, as, as you can see, and it's working just fine. So, like I said, stiff guitar pick. Uh, don't go too deep. Uh, be careful with the plastic. Be patient. And uh, don't force it too hard. Okay? Uh, watch the video in, in its entirety and make sure you see where the clips are so you know where you have to apply pressure and where not to. Cautions are uh, be careful around the USB port and uh, the micro SD port as well because uh, it's very thin plastic there. I would even, wouldn't even pry anywhere near 
there or here if you don't have to. Thanks for watching. That's it for my video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like this video and it helped you out in some way, do me a favor, click on the like button right down here. And uh, you know, if you wish to subscribe to my channel, just click on this link up here. And that should subscribe you to the, the uh, Richard Lloyd channel or Richard Lloyd USA channel. Um, okay, again, thank you very much for your time and watching.